Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Super Mario series here on the Wii U edition of Minecraft. If you guys are new to the series, make sure you go down below and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more content every single day. But guys, without further ado, this is going to be a very special behind-the-scenes video today, and a very highly requested video on my channel that I've seen pretty much since I've started uploading Mario videos that you guys have wanted. So today I thought I would sort of sit down and I'll finally make this video that so many you have wanted um in the past so uh here goes nothing so this is gonna be sort of a behind the scenes sort of video today so i hope you guys do enjoy this like i said if you do let's smash the like button on this video let's try to get over 1,000 likes that'd be absolutely amazing but guys without further ado let's get right into this so i looked through my comments which i do pretty much every day I always see a lot of comments saying, Tripolar, do you do all the voices to your character by yourself? Uh, like, do you do all the voices? Who does all the voices? Can I do the voices? Like, all different questions like that. Um, and the answer to that question, as many of you do, do know or have found out, is yes, I do the voice to every single character that I've ever voiced on this channel. Now, some of you might say, that's crazy. How do you do that? Um, it's It's been a long time practicing, and I don't know. Some people just have are good at it. Obviously, I do not have every voice perfect. A lot of people are better than me at it, but I think I've gotten pretty good at it over the years of, of doing this, and that's also why my voice, um, if you ever notice that my voice is really graspy when I talk like this, if you ever heard me, um, it's because of doing the voices so much. As, uh, I have a very, um, like, a, I don't even know how you, sensitive voice? I don't even know if that's the right terminology, um, but my voice tires very easily and gets strained very easily um so that is why my voice is always like this if you ever listen to me um i my voice always sounds like very hoarse uh very froggy like uh, like that uh because of all the voices that i do and it gets tired and yes so it i lose i use my voice a lot and i also lose it a lot so i guess both those ways sort of worked out but today i'm sort of going to go through a video take you through each of the characters um within the super mario series and show you the different voices i do and uh which are my favorite and then you guys can also comment which are your favorite which are your least favorite because obviously i cannot i'll tell you some of the ones i really cannot do at all and you could see that a lot of them are sort of similar but uh anyway Let's get right into this. So, of course, we have the main character, Mario, which is the first Mario character, obviously, ever voiced in episode one. So, Mario is quite easy. It's -a me, -a Mario, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Nintendo Funhouse series. Even though I'm not even in the Nintendo Funhouse series, I don't know why I said that. That's crazy. So, it's just a basically like Italian accent. Um, you know, obviously, people could do Mario a lot better or have different interpretations of Mario since he doesn't speak all that often. Often, but uh, that is my interpretation of Mario, and you guys seem to uh, to like it. The next up would be Luigi, um, which is like an Italian accent, but it's kind of like deeper and not as like well, high lifting, not very exciting. Um, so it's more of like a Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Luigi here, and welcome back. It's more nasally, definitely. It's more a nasally voice of, Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luigi here, and welcome back to a brand new episode. Um, and that is, uh, you could hear my voice getting tired. If I take sips of water through this episode, just because this voice is, especially doing all of them, is going to be kind of hard, so. How about that? For the comment of the day, I want to see you can get it. How many sips of water do I take throughout in this entire video? I want to see. I will. I will like the comment that gets it right, or all, or um, most of the comments that try to get it right, um, and I'll try to respond to you guys. But anyway, uh, let's get back at it. So that is Luigi, sort of like Mario, just a little nasalier. Then we have the fabulous Princess Peach, which is my best version of a girl voice, but it also has a little bit of an accent to it. I don't know why, but she's kind of like a complainy and whiny. I don't really know why I made Peach this way. She's just a princess, and that's how I kind of view her. But anyway, she's a fabulous princess, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why I do her voice like this, but that's pretty much how I do her voice always. She goes up and down, and all her sentences end on a high note. I don't know why that is, but uh, it's just how it is. So that's Peach. Um, pretty simple. Yoshi is uh, you guys know one of my favorite voices. I bet for you guys is Bowser Jr. Uh, and and Yoshi is pretty much just a higher Bowser Jr. voice. Um, so about so Yoshi would be like, "Hi guys, it's Yoshi here. Welcome back to a brand new episode." And he has a little bit. It's a little bit of a different voice. They're done exactly the same. One's just more higher. Yoshi's just the higher pitch. So come on, guys, let's go to Yoshi's Island. Woo! Like, that's, like, way higher. And you'll hear Bowser Jr.'s later is a little uh, deeper and a little lower because he's more on the evil or trying to be evil side. But anyway, that's Yoshi. Then we have Bowser, which is basically uh, a deep voice but with an accent. So a little easier for me to do. So, 
Hello. I need to take a sip of water before this. Guys, get counting. Get counting. All right. Woo. Oh, all right. Hopefully, that's going to be a fun little game of how many sips of water I can actually take this episode. But Bowser is just darker. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Super Mario series. Here on the Win Nintendo edition of Minecraft, or Wii U edition, whatever it is, I usually mess up the intros, Bowser. I don't know why I think I'm so focused on doing the voice. That pretty much it just goes all around and does whatever it really wants. So that's Bowser. He's definitely not the deepest voice I could do, but he's, he, I don't know, when I do Bowser, I feel like he has a British accent, like a deep British, I don't know why. He definitely doesn't, but that's just how, like, in my head, I do Bowser. So that's Bowser. Toad, which is actually one of the hardest voices to do. It hurts my throat so much. The only ones that hurt my throat more than Toad is Toadette and uh, Daisy, which pretty much have the same voice. But uh, Toad is... Hey guys, so my name's Toad, and uh, as you know, I live in the Mushroom Kingdom and all that cool stuff. And basically, I just walk around to do, uh, oh, look, a bunny! Bunny, bunny rabbit in the Mushroom Kingdom. So he sort of has a high-pitched voice, but like this annoying high-pitched voice. And I do that because I picture Toad like very annoying sidekick type character. So that's why I probably voice Toad that way. But anyway, let's move on to the next character. Captain Toad, that's the same person. Donkey Kong, uh, since there is no Donkey Kong voice unless I literally make ape noises, um, I usually just do Donkey Kong as like Ende Kong as both country like western accents um so donkey kong would be like the deeper country western you're like hey guys it's your boy diddy kong here welcome back to another episode of donkey kong village oh yeah boys and girls and welcome back to dk jungle so that's donkey kong he's like a deeper southern accent um you know cowboy rancher where diddy kong's more of a higher hey there boys and girls it's diddy kong and welcome back to a new episode i'm about to go fishing in the mississippi river and uh yeah i got my boat out here today got everything i need got my boots on and i'm gonna go fishing i'm gonna go hunt for some buck so pretty much uh they both have western accents i don't really know why i decided that's just how i view them uh, if they did have voices and didn't make monkey noises, uh, that's how they would sound. And to make the videos better, I had to give them a voice. Here we go. One of my least favorite voices to do, along with Toadette, is Daisy. She is so... It's hard. It's it's very hard to do Daisy. So Daisy is peach, but in the back of my throat. So if I take peach, which is very the top of my throat, and I take Daisy, which is like in the bottom of my throat, and it's... Alright guys, so my name's Daisy, and you can already tell that it's like a, it's a little more raspier of a voice. It kind of sounds like, uh, Roz from, um, Monsters, Inc., if you've ever seen that movie. Um, uh, Mike Wazowski, um, but a little higher pitched than that, I guess. And it's, uh, it makes my throat very dry in the back to do this voice, but whatever. So that is Daisy. I'm not going to do too much of it, because it hurts a lot. Uh, Toda is worse, and we'll get to Toda. Hopefully never, but probably I'll have to do it for this video. Um... Next up, we have Wario, which is a deeper, evil Italian accent. Wario time. All right. Uh, Waluigi, when are we going to get the potion? Uh, I don't know what to say for Wario, really. I hate Mario. I'm going to steal all his money. <laughs> and then, so that's like him. And then Waluigi, Waluigi, I just think, is like the dumber version. He goes, well, I need to take a sip of water. I'm sorry. Jeez. Ugh. All right, there we go. Waluigi time. Okay, boss, what are we going to do today? <laughs> so a little bit, they're like, that one's sort of like Luigi, I guess, but like a more uh, annoying Luigi. I don't know, I don't do Wario and Waluigi that often, so uh, I don't have like really, really set voices for them, but uh, that is all them. All right, next up is Petey. All right, so Petey sounds... Um, I, I don't know, PD doesn't really have a voice except for like, oh, or whatever sounds they make, but he needs to have a voice in my series, so PD, who's usually on top of this mountain in the various scenes, um, I just do like a witch voice of, what are you doing on my island? Why are you here? I don't want you on my island anymore. I will kill you. I And boy, PD's voice has changed throughout the series. I've, I'm sure if you go back to the original episodes, it was a lot different. I don't really remember what it was like, but that's what I do it as now is he's like, hey, get off my island. I will kill you. Or uh, I don't know. That one actually kind of hurts too, not going to lie. I'm to actually do. But as we kind of go through the halfway point, I'm just going to 
change scenery and go to the other side of the world. But let me know right now how uh, – I'll take a drink too because it's really killing my voice. Uh, that's what my voice is always like this. So yeah, you guys know that I do all the voices. I'm going to do the rest of them uh, in a second. But um, G. Willikers. All right. That actually really hurt. All right. Next up. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a long video. Uh, we have Lemmy, so maybe I'll go through the couplings quicker. So uh, let's just go through Lemmy, who's... Okay, hello everyone, my name is Lemmy, and I'm a little annoying voice, and I run around the park and do all the different stuff. Uh. If you ever watched my old Comedy Mayhem Adventure series, that's literally Sing Song's voice. Wendy is the same. Um, hey, Ma! Uh, what can I say is Wendy? Uh, well, I'm a big bird, and I hate everyone, and... Uh... Yeah, she has the same, my generic evil girl voice. I don't really know why. I'm Morton and I'm stupid. I don't know why I mean Morton stupid, but I don't even know my alphabet or my ABCs. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I made him uh, stupid. I'm Larry and uh, pretty much just a, a deeper voice. Uh, I, I'm part of the Luigi's Mansion series. That's where you guys can find me. So he's sort of like a normal or. Hi there, cuz! I'm Iggy! <laughs> sort of like a stupid southern accent. I don't know why. And then Roy, who's just, like, one of the easiest voices to do because he's got to be super chill. And, like, yeah, like, just Roy is super chill. And then you have, finally, Ludwig, who is, You idiots, I cannot believe it. I have to work with you idiots all the time. I cannot actually believe this. I'm not emo, okay? I'm not emo, I promise. So, sort of like a Donald Trump, I guess. Maybe that's where I got that information for my voice. Another sip, be counting. Ugh. All right, let's try to shorten this video. Let's kind of make it under 15 minutes right now. Rosalina. Okay, we're almost at the end. Rosalina is a um, sort of like a creepy man-girl voice. Hello, Mario. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom Galaxy. This is a very ASMR voice, if you know what that means. And welcome back to another episode. I am here to soothe your soul. I could probably fall asleep listening to that voice. I'm not going to lie. All right. Next up, oh great, here we go, is Toadette. So Toadette sounds like, Hey guys, I'm Toadette, and welcome back to another episode. I'm super annoying, and I'm blah, blah, blah. Basically, just like that. Um, so yeah, it's Toadette. Don't like to do her. That's why she's not in episodes. Bruno, I, she's never in episodes because I really don't have a voice for her. Um, I guess it's like, Bruno, I'm Bruno, and I'm a vol. Uh, I don't know, because I also live as high as Bruno. So, I don't know. Don't use Bruno that much anyway. Plus, the skin is really ugly. I mean, look at it. It's not really a flattering skin. Um, then you just have Chef Mario, who's basically the same as Mario, but a, a little a little different. I'm not really too sure. Hey, Bowser Jr., get down from there, please. I, he, he's always yelling, and, and Chef Mario has a hard life, okay? And he's usually just complaining like this and he sounds like he's going to cry any second so that is chef mario then we have can't make it worse i mean we could do it two ways i'll do uh <laughs> hey boss uh i'm Kamek and i'm from the uh <laughs> the evil mastermind from the uh nintendo funhouse series that's very nasally that's back of the voice got some schnot some schnot why did i say it like that some snot in my throat um with that one Koopa. I guess I'll do French Koopa after this break. Alright, so I don't really do a Koopa voice, but I guess I'll do French Koopa, which is, oh, my name is French Koopa and welcome to my place. And basically, I live at the Nintendo Funhouse because that's all I can do, alright? And I don't know where to go. Look at this little piggy. How did he go? Oh my goodness, is this piggy okay? We must rescue the piggy, okay? Let's rescue the piggy and set him free. Oh my goodness, the piggy is actually strapped inside here and now he is free. I wonder if it's like that in everyone's world or that pig just spawned in there. That's a little weird. But anyway, we saved him, so who cares? Um, all right, next up is going to be. Hey guys, I'm Gil from the Nintendo Fun House. Um, my voice is uh, very, very losery, very nerdy, sort of like Ludwig's, I'm not going to lie. Very similar, except where Ludwig's is a little more angry, I'm a little more calm back and relaxed. But yeah, that's Gil. Uh, the only character I've ever done is Tyler with this, which is. Hey, dude, come on, man. I, I, I don't want any trouble, man. I'm just trying to have a good time. Come on, Junior. We don't got to do that stuff, man. We got He's, like, very gangster, I guess. I guess that's what you would say. Hey, dude, we don't got to go and do anything like that, man. I'm trying to try to sleep, and you distracted me from my sleep. Like, what you trying to do, boy? So, very gangstery. 
Um, then you have Boom Boom, who's I'm Boom Boom and I'm I'm evil and big and strong and I'm beat you up because I'm Boom Boom. Look at my fist; it's bigger than my bigger than my hand should be. I'm Boom Boom. So that's Boom Boom. Um, and then I think we only have two more, which is Dry Bones, which is <laughs> if you guys love Dry Bones, very very. Uh, I need to take a sip of water. Hold up, another sip, boys. Ah, I like three Poland Spring Waters in my room like now, which are all full. I always have water in my room because these voices. Sir, I do not know what we're going to do today, but it's very, very good, sir. Very, very good, sir. Very, very good, sir. I am like a computer animatronic robot, and I sort of sound like Siri when you answer the phone. Or on those Illuminati videos where the people don't like to talk. So that's Dry Bones. I don't know why I made them like that. And then, of course, the last but not least, Bowser Jr. Woohoo! So, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Bowser Jr. I uh, have a different, like I said, a little, it's a little deeper side of uh, the nursery. Well, that's a little bit better. Bowser Jr. is down here and he's sort of chill and relax. But, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go down below and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more content every single day. The secret's been revealed. That is how I do um, all my voices. So, guys, make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you do subscribe, and we'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace out, guys, and bye!